guys, so today I'm going to be talking about some skincare current favorites and sort of my routine and sort of just the products that I've been loving lately to take care of my skin. So what's really important to me right now is exfoliating and moisturizing, both of which are really important to keep your skin super healthy and super smooth, especially as you move into the winter and the dryness really, really can affect your skin. So the first thing I have is these makeup remover wipes from Yes to Cucumbers, and they are the soothing hypoallergenic, um, they are soothing and they're hypoallergenic. And so what I do is I just take one of these and I find that really one is all I need to take off all my face makeup and the majority of my eye makeup. Um, these are really gentle, so they're, I mean, they don't irritate my skin at all. They're not necessarily moisturizing, but they definitely won't dry out your skin. If I have stubborn eye makeup that the first towelette didn't remove, um, I like to take one of these, and it's also from Yes to Cucumbers. It's the eye makeup remover pads, and I just take one or two, depending on how much you know eyeliner or whatever it is I have on, and just smooth it over my eye area, and it takes it off really well. And this also works in the morning if you find that you either forgot to remove your makeup last night, or there's just a little bit of residue that sort of crept down right underneath, and you want to get that up without you know, using a whole big towelette, just take one of these, it's really small, like a little cotton swab, and just swipe it off, and it comes off right away. So these are awesome, and they're also, um, since they're the same product, pretty much, because these are meant for eye makeup, um, it is hypoallergenic, and it's really, really gentle, and it doesn't irritate my skin at all. After I've removed my makeup, I like to cleanse with the Lush Let the Good Times Roll Facial Cleanser. This is a roll cleanser, so it's um, a solid cleanser that you take a little pinch of, and you mix it with a little bit of water into a paste in your hand, and then smooth it all over your face, and it's a really gentle exfoliator, so it is going to slough off the dead skin, and any of the makeup residue is just going to come right off of this cleanser. This cleanser also smells like Christmas, so I love it for this season. I love the way it smells, and I love the way it makes my face feel. It just makes me feel so much more fresh and so clean clean and so like renewed when I use this cleanser. About once a week I'll treat my face to a mask and this is the um, Farmhouse Fresh Splendid Dirt Nutrient Rich Mud Mask. Um, it's made of pumpkin puree so it smells like pumpkin pie which is pretty darn awesome. I don't know who wouldn't want to put pumpkin pie on their face. This mask is really meant for pretty much all types of skin. It's super moisturizing. It is a clay mask so it's going to draw the impurities out of your pores and you know help with blemishes and stuff and it also has active yogurt enzymes which is really really important for moisturizing that yogurt enzymes are just going to make your skin feel so soft and this mask I smooth it all over my face about once a week leave it on until it dries and then rinse it off and it feels so much softer my skin just like glows after this mask love 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 this and it's super important really if your skin is getting dry to treat it to a mask a moisturizing mask about once a week it will help so much before you, so you cleanse you should do a mask and then you should cleanse it really really gently after that um, and then apply a moisturizer and it's going to really seal the moisture from that mask when I'm looking for a really gentle cleanser especially after I do the mask I don't want to use the let the good times roll cleanser again because it is gently exfoliating so I use the Cetaphil um, cleanser and that is super super gentle there's no exfoliation whatsoever it's pretty much like made for babies it's so so gentle so if you're looking for a cleanser to do just after you've already cleansed your face but you don't want to strip your face too much um, I would definitely recommend either the Cetaphil or the Purpose Cleanser. Both in the morning and at night I use the same moisturizer which I'll probably end up switching to a little bit of a heavy moisturizer as we get further into winter but the moisturizer I'm using right now even under my makeup um, is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion Plus and this is a um, I wouldn't say that it's a light moisturizer, but it's not super thick, so I can definitely layer underneath my foundation without it looking oily or, you know, weird build-up-y. Um, and it really takes care of any dry spots that I have. It smooths them right over and really heals up my skin really nicely. So it's an intense moisturizer, but at the same time, it's not going to make you look strange if you layer under your makeup, which is really, really hard to find with moisturizers. So I would definitely recommend checking this out. It's one of my favorite moisturizers that I've ever tried. For my body skincare favorites at the moment, um, this Earth to Skin Heal Tastic, which I've, I've seen on TV, I've seen on infomercials, but I actually bought it at Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, this is amazing when you have dry and cracked heels in the winter. Um, you smooth it on, it's like a chapstick kind of in the that is in a stick form. You smooth it on, you put on socks. In the morning, I swear your feet will have been like healed and amazing and soft. I love this stuff so much. It says it's intensive heel therapy, and it really, really is. It just is incredible for how moisturizing it is 
to the cracks in your heels, which I know can be really painful too. And it's also important that if you do get cracks in your heels to exfoliate them with a pumice stone in the shower, which will slough off that extra dead skin and make the way for um, stuff like this to get in there and actually repair the cracks and the dry skin you're having there. I find that in the winter, my skin just all over my body needs a little bit more moisturizing. I love this Lush Massage Bar after I've um, come out of the shower and shaved especially. This is the Strawberry Feels Forever Massage Bar and it's made with cocoa butter so it melts at um, skin temperature and so you just rub it right on your legs and it'll melt and it'll make your skin feel so buttery and so good and it really locks in all the moisture from your shower. Um, especially if you're taking warm showers in the winter, the hotness of the water can really dry out your skin, so it's super important to moisturize right after you come out. And moisturize with something that really is intense and will lock in the moisture from the body products that you're using in the shower. My lips tend to get really chapped in the winter, so it's really important that I moisturize them constantly. And I do use a lighter chapstick throughout the day. I use an EOS lip balm, but at night I like to seal in the moisture with the Sugar Fresh Lip Treatment. Um, I just use the plain color but this is so intense and it will stay on my lips all night. I wake up in the morning feeling really refreshed and if my lips were even a little bit dry, they are totally healed by the morning. It's really, really important that you get a very, very strong lip balm or lip butter that will lock in all the moisture because otherwise your lips will end up getting chapped and dry and split and even bleeding throughout the day. So you definitely don't want that, but the, the, are probably one of the most um, sensitive areas of your body that can get dry in the winter time because you're breathing through your mouth and all the air is going in and out and that's what's going to really really you know take out the moisture of your lips um, take the moisture out of your lips so a good lip balm is super important and I really recommend this for how thick and how luxurious and how just incredibly moisturizing it is. So that's my current skincare routine for the fall and heading into winter as we are getting into a little bit of a drier season. Those are the products that I find keep me really moisturized and hydrated and my skin feeling good and comfortable and smooth and soft. So if you guys have any skincare favorites of the moment that are helping you to stay super soft and moisturized, please leave them in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!